Hey, good day, everybody. How are you? Good to be checking in with you again. Market sniper video. I haven't done one in a while, um, and it's technical and it's charting, and we're calling a uh, big call Tilray, and it is cannabis, cannabis industry. I think the cannabis industry as a whole is going to run into a, a little bit of a tougher time, um, but most specifically Tilray. Tilray for me is looking like it. it's about to have a 60%, yes you heard me right, 60%, 50% plus, I can't say exactly 60, loss of target. I'm expecting a target of 36.73 uh, uh, to be run. It's currently trading just under 77, so that would imply certainly at least $40 loss, which should take you safely through uh, this into the 60s in terms of percentage loss on a uh, inverted HVF uh, method um, tough one to short you might need an options account or interactive brokers not available on all the others so this may be a trade you could take it may not be um, script borrowing is uh, difficult to find but the cannabis has been the new crypto the new crypto and um, the equity version of uh, crypto huge pumps huge massive spikes etc but uh, I sense in the same way it's the new crypto it needs to learn the new crypto the the, the old cryptos lessons and that there may in fact be a bear market um, of some scale to work its way through. Uh, we had the blow off highs up top here. You could have been at 300 plus dollars, 300 plus dollars today trading at $76 and I'm calling for it to be lower. By the way, I want to highlight how it's similar to um, in structure to that which was called by certain commentators as a reversal compound point and figure compound fulcrum reversal no it wasn't uh, that it was an inverted hvf this was of course bitcoin hence why i call this the new crypto because it has very very uh, interesting dna and structure it's had a boom and it will probably have its own version of a bust uh, and interestingly enough, it's got a very similar type pattern structure, which is the point where I said certain commentators that are now claiming they called an 80% loss in crypto called this actually a reversal pattern at the $6,500. Uh, it's never a reversal pattern. It was continuation squeeze. And uh, we see it here. So I've put the two charts underneath each other, a uh, bit of a looky likey. It's not identical. Um, it rhymes. And that doesn't mean you get the identical response. Remember, we can be 100% wrong on this. This is not a trade recommendation. Just like anybody else um, but you had a boom a spike and then you've had easing easing in fact the crypto probably pulled back more violently I have log scaled these just to get a sense of proportionality so that you understand this is not uh, regular scale this one over here is log scale so you've had uh, essentially you had a pullback you had two impulses let's draw it you can even enjoy it with me um, this is also a smaller time frame so the bigger time frames can be more reliable so let's draw it as a uh, dashed red arrow shall we if it'll give it to me drop dash there red arrow please dash red arrow so there was your first sell-off in crypto you then got your first bounce up a a a a do it properly you then got your first bounce up let me just flatten all doesn't want to play along uh, with me so nice play nice uh, I'm trying to draw here okay flatten it all let's get those arrows back um, you have the first spike we call it a slap in the face you then had um, first rally pause and then marginally higher high and then you get the big sell-off very similar to crypto first rally pull back then marginally higher high and then the big sell-off the big sell-off in this case all the way down to there there was a zig and a zaggle in that um, and then you got a continuation structure let's just draw this uh, in a different color let's just draw it in a different color so uh, grab a arrow make him um, gray and we'll see how it looks so then you've got a continuation downside structure in your cannabis over there um, broadly like that which goes along with what we typically call a grind line um, across there which is the lower part and that was your squeeze 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 um, and then you went down and in fact as part of this you did in fact get that in this one I haven't uh, I've had this is a much bigger time frame so I've had to squeeze a lot more in but if you look at that in fact you will see that we had the exact same aspects in here so there's the gray there's the gray in there go expand that chart again then you get your downside spill that's back to the red we can go red that is the reassertion of the continuation to the downside down she goes um, and this is it here as I say you get similarities 
you get similarities but you don't always get exactitudes now across the BTC euro and the BTC GBP and the BTC versus gold remember the Fed was doing their fake dollar is super strong we're going on an interest rate cycle uh, cycle you actually got across those I've done the USD here I've also done it with the euro but I don't have time to run it all through uh, with you essentially you got that as an all-time low on the euro lower than this point over here so actually this was a huge a huge structural squeeze across the top which remains still valid across the euro and the GBP which could suggest that there's more downside um, overall whilst uh, in the Tilray on a shorter time frame it is looking like that um, in the end on BTC you then spilt out of that this has made what we call our second interim and there's a possibility that we could go further somebody said it's irresponsible to suggest that BTC could go further especially towards the thousand dollar mark I don't know about what's responsible uh, or not I do know about probabilities and this threat remains and if we get a continuation set up we will go lower and if we find that Tilray does make our downside uh, target to uh, these levels you could also get further continuation but the point of interest the point of interest that we're discussing here um, is this is a uh, downside continuation pattern in our view on bias uh, on bias and on balance of probabilities so our bias is bare for uh, the cannabis and in our view this uh, was the same case over here now you could just look on BTC at that smaller uh, version of the fractal just up to here that has already made its target to there um, in the same way so that looks very similar to that but I would argue in fact that against all the others um, that low is not lower than that low euro GBP and gold ounces hence this is all a bigger structure we could get more so you're getting kind of a crypto reminder and you're also getting uh, the cannabis the new industry stock uh, reminder we're calling for as I say it's certainly 60% plus if it runs the 36 uh, level from the 70s after hitting 300 highs that should feel like uh, the BTC $20,000 zone um, only to end up at uh, the lower threes so with that I love you and leave you this is not a trade recommendation if you want to find more out about our trading we've been discussing this in the community for a while um, we had we discussed this in our non-farm payroll uh, the cannabis now that all my guys have taken in their positions that can um, I'm gonna let this one leak out for the free views you can watch and follow it um, by the way as ever we can totally be wrong we're not clairvoyant we are talking about a probability based event but you can see the parallels you can see the parallels in the crypto markets which we call we called the cannabis the new crypto markets before these patterns have emerged and so far it seems to be keeping us honest in terms of that okay um, enjoy the vid and as I say uh, you won't find many many places options might be the best um, those that have interactive brokers may indeed be able to trade it okay love you and leave you and I hope you enjoy that share and pop over March the 11th free webinar pop over there if you want to become part of our online community trading is not for everybody you have to own your own outcomes um, and you'll learn a lot about it doing one thing particularly well, a detailed method. In other words, becoming a specialist. Bye for now and uh, play safe.